Hey guys, so sorry about the lights, it might be a bit off, and uh, sorry about the general aspect of this uh, opening frame, but this is the best that I can do for now, because I've just taken delivery of a very cheap and uh, cheerful to 140 amp transformer welder. And I just wanted to show you very quickly what this uh, Jan vacuum tube looks like when you power it up. Uh, I'm not going to power it up with B plus uh, anode voltage or anything because, yeah, I've just read through the specifications and I'm going to try and put a picture somewhere around here. Um, so this thing wants 7 volts of the filament, as I said, between 70 and 80 current, amps of current and it can do 1.2 amps at 5 kilovolts anode power anode, anode current and up to 26 megahertz maximum frequency so um and this is meant to slide in a water-cooled jacket of some description and um, i've set up a couple of meters so this is measuring the voltage on the welding leads and this is one of those cheap clamp meters that's just gonna measure the current through the through the tube so I'm gonna put my foot on the transformer to stop it from humming too bad I'm gonna turn it on and you can see the open circuit voltage around 44 volts and brace for impact you can see it's drawing 83 amps and the filament is heated up the thing in there in the middle which is not hot at all is a spring meant to keep constant tension on the filament and let me move it around a bit and shade it so you can see the thing inside there better okay that should be about enough for this like uh, it kind of sparked out a bit the terminal there and don't want to ruin this completely and it's gotten pretty toasty like it's a nice hand warmer if anything and it stays warm for a very long time but yeah now you've seen a um transmitter triode powered up sorry for the brevity of the demonstration but i don't want to have molten copper in my face or shards of glass in my eyes or in my phone or in my oscilloscope for that matter so yeah um, speaking of uh, just a couple of bits of information so the welded transformer is a very particular kind of uh, power transformer basically so it's got a step down ratio and as you saw during load so du um, during open circuit we had a quite a reasonably high voltage of around 44 volts and that is necessary to um, enable you to strike the arc with the electrode but then under load I don't know if you can see if you could see that but the current dropped the voltage dropped significantly um, to down to a couple of volts while the filament was heating up and it was getting increasingly more resistive and you could see that the current stayed pretty much constant all the time and why is that? Well, between the primary and secondary windings of a welder transformer or, or, or a welding transformer, there is a magnetic shunt which can be moved in and out of the core. And that basically limits the inductive coupling between the uh, windings. It basically starves the secondary winding of some of the um, field, the flux, the magnetic flux, uh, generated by the primary and that is how current limiting works on these things this is a very very ancient way of uh, um, regulating current at the output of a transformer you basically put a magnetic shunt between the primary and the secondary so yeah that's about it um, everything I have for you regarding this tube it's just gonna go to it's gonna go on display now and I'm gonna enjoy looking at it and oh why the hell not let's take another look at it contact 
So it dropped to 3 volts and as it warms up it's pulling a bit less current now, 76 amps and the voltage is skyrocketed to about 10 so I don't know what is wrong here anyway I've overdriven this a bit if I'm not mistaken so maximum filament voltage should be around 7.3 but there might be a significant amount of contact resistance uh, so voltage drop on these uh, like on this connection there's milli ohms of resistance there at least so yeah that's about it uh, short and sweet lots of uh, angry buzzing and humming and quite a bit of heat this thing is about as hot as a hot cup of fresh coffee right now so very nice hand warmer very good for the winter not very efficient though so uh, thanks again for watching I'll try and put out another couple of videos because uh, I have some small topics that I want to cover and um, I'll see what I can do about that but that's it for now thanks for watching and have a great day guys bye